wash away the pain There's a new day to take away your sorrow And the old ways get washed out by the rain because it's Easter day by the time you're watching this. And I hope you're all having a lovely day, whatever it is that you're doing. Hopefully you're having some wholesome food, some yummy chocolate. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. We're going shopping today. It was sunny this morning. However, it has fast become overcast and a bit drizzly. So what better activity to do on a rainy day than to go shopping? So I do have um, a couple of bits that I need to get from some kind of homeware shops, some home bargain type shops, and also a little bit of a um, food haul. I'm just gonna go to Sainsbury's on route back home. But apart from that, we're heading to the Trafford Centre, which I suppose is a good place to shop when it is a bit drizzly because it's all inside so i think i'm going to get out of the way the bits that i do need to get from like some home bargain type shops i'm going to nip into boots as well i've got um if you know the traffic center they've got that kind of shopping complex with like a dunnell tk max boots so i'm going to head there first and then if i get time go over to the traffic center maybe have a quick look in zara selfridges possibly and then of course head back and share with you anything that i do end up picking up i'm sure i will i feel like i'm in a spending mood today so yeah i hope you all enjoyed today's video before i do get to the shops i do have a video sponsor to a very kindly thank and it is for me like a dream collab tangle teaser which is a brand that i have used i'm gonna say over 10 years over 10 years i have used the original and it's just a brand that i trust and love and i have recently fallen in love with the, this little contraption which you may have seen me use in my shower this morning to wash my hair it is the tangle teaser scalp and exfoliating massager which has this really kind of practical winged effect which just allows you to hold it quite nicely and you can use it dry to massage the scalp which honestly feels amazing especially if you just want a little wind down and pamper one evening but it's not a hair wash day in the shower to actually really work the shampoo in this isn't something you need to get used to after the first single time i used it I was like, I can't go back. Wherever I go, if ever I'm away for the night or a couple of nights where I need to wash my hair, this is gonna be part of my essential in my toiletries at bag now because I just don't feel like I'd ever be able to clean my hair the same with just your hands. Can you see these ones are about slightly thicker to really get into like pressure points. It's no pull, so it avoids breakage. And by massaging in the shampoo, not only does it feel amazing, but it also stimulates growth as well. So I particularly concentrate it on areas around my scalp, my temples, just to help stimulate growth out and underneath as well. Because I get quite a lot of kind of like baby hairs underneath. So yeah, this is an essential now. So if you want to start detoxing your scalp, clearing any product of buildup, relieving tension, well worth the investment. It's not even an investment, it's so affordable. I feel like this is an absolute must in my hair care routine as well. This is the Tangle Teaser Wet Detangling Brush that I just use to post shower once my hair is wet just to get rid of all the knots and before blow drying. So thank you to Tangle Teaser for working with me on today's video. Honestly, like I said, the brand in itself I have used and been a huge fan of for well over 10 years. My hairdresser uses Tangle Teaser whenever I go and visit her as well, which I have been for an appointment fairly recently. So I do have a bit of a, um, have had a bit of a root retouch. And then yeah, this is what my hair looks like post styling. Sorry if you can hear the builders. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check that out. Right, let's get on the road. Let's get my coat on. Make sure you're set and ready with a nice cozy drink in hand. And let's go shopping. I don't know where she came from. Kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. So first things first, I headed into Boots where you can find the Tangle Teaser Scalp Exfoliator and Massager. Then headed to Home Bargains where I had a look through the new in section for spring and summer. Some lovely baskets of which I did pick up a couple myself. 
And I just wanna tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like Then I headed over to the Barton Square part of the Trafford Centre where there is a huge Primark with a beauty studio at which they had a appointment available. So I treated myself to a gel manicure and I got the colour Tiramisu for two by OPI. Something about the way she laughs and the way she always does. Then I had a quick look around the fashion section, saw some beautiful dresses that would be amazing for spring and summer, so I may head back and pick some up soon. Tell her, baby, please don't go. I think you should stay with me. And I, I really and then of course I can't do a Primark trip without a quick browse around the wellness section and the homeware too. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? So it's been a little while. I have done all of the kind of bargain homeware shops. I've been to Primark, I've got my nails done. I just popped in and I thought, hmm, I'll ask if they've got an appointment because I didn't have any gel on at the time and um, they said yes. I might start trying doing my nails at home because I don't have acrylics or anything. Um, so yeah, I might start doing some more at home gel manicures and this colour is OPI Tiramisu for two. I'm saying this so that I can remember myself for in future if I do decide to purchase some gel polishes. So yeah, had my nails done. I'm now outside Selfridges, just piled the car full of bags. So I'm gonna head into Selfridges, just have a quick look before heading back. I want to get a couple of new makeup bits. So fingers crossed I'll have some there. I might even grab some lunch as well or like a boost juice or something just for a bit of extra fuel but yeah little update from me little check-in and let's head back into the shops Full stop. can't believe i live in your thoughts i think about you all the time morning evening and midnight such a wonderful day We're back in the car. So I didn't actually end up picking up any clothes or anything from there. To be honest with you, it must, is it school holidays? It was very busy for a weekday morning. That's when I'm filming this. So <clears throat> just got some makeup top outs. I'll show you those at home. But, um, oh, I also grabbed a boost, the ginger juice. I did ask for extra ginger and I can't taste any ginger. So I'd hope she didn't, well, no, she didn't misunderstand me because she charged me extra, but oh well. They did offer for me to taste it first, but I just said, no, no, I trust you. <laughs> kind of wish I had. I would have said, oh, I can't taste any ginger. Then again, I do like extra ginger. I actually like to feel it burn. That's how much ginger I like. All about balance. I'm going to go via McDonald's back home. I was going to go and, again, get some food in there, but everywhere was just so busy. So I'm just going to do a quick drive through. <laughs> from the comfort of my own car and also i did want to t try the new truffle burger although i don't know if every store does it so if they have it i'll try it if not i'll just go through my regular my regular i'm a regular at mcdonald's um i would go through more burger kings i prefer burger king but there's never any burger kings near in fact anywhere unless you're at an airport <laughs> there's always a burger king i was gutted i went into the white company and i wanted to get my hands on the new um fragrance oil in the new scent sea salt because there was a sample which i smell and it smells lovely and the summer one as well which i would have picked up because that has sea salt in it um however they had loads of spring but no no summer or no sea salt and they were the two that i was after so never mind at the minute, I've got wild mint on the go in the kitchen. Ooh, which I have been loving. Uh, but I just wanted to switch it up, you know, with the new fragrance. However, they didn't have any. So maybe I'll just order some online. Anyway, let's go fill my belly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can say order. 
right, can I just get a double cheeseburger with no pickles, please? No pickles, yeah. That's it, thank you. Just first one, no, please. Thanks. Are oh, you alright? Hello. Or something, I'm Thank you. Yeah, that's yeah thank you. Yes, of course, thank you. It's the only thing when you ask for no pickles, it takes longer, but it is fresh. Thank you. And we're off. all four seasons in a day today in fact i'm gonna take downstairs and make a coffee i feel like having a coffee just warms me up makes me feel like yep yeah, you're home <laughs> anyone else i do also have one other thing which i've just popped away in the freezer which i thought seen as though taking downstairs anyway i might as well show you because it's news to me i've never seen them before i thought you guys might be interested in seeing them coffee made it's just literally black coffee and it's what I need today. I'm gonna quickly show you these. But they're like the mochis, you know, what are they? Little Moons, Little Moons have loads of different flavors. Coconut was my favorite that they did. So I saw these in Aldi and thought, ooh, thought I would pick them all up to try. So this one's cheesecake, the passion fruit, and then that was mango. That freezer is full to the brim. I feel like when you've got a dog that has a raw food diet, the freezer is always full of his food. We're definitely gonna get one downstairs in the utility just for him. I'm also just gonna grab one of these because are these not the best Easter chocolate ever? I'm not kidding when I say to you. Uh, it's time of the month, so chocolate. It's not a luxury, it's an essential right now. And chill. Oh, yeah, my hip crap. Okay, oh, so good. Let me start with some bits that I got from Selfridges that I just ran in to grab. Um, this is a very bougie purchase. Some of you may be thinking, what on earth? I got some, I'm just, this brand is just beautiful. So my bathroom is full of it. So I'm sticking on theme, but I also thought it would look quite nice in a guest room, you know, so guests can have an extra special mouthwash because that's essentially what it is. It is a huge bottle of it though, quite weighty, 17 pounds that was. And then I also got, you may have seen, I'm definitely gonna try these out, see how I go, and then maybe let you know, you know, in my monthly vlogs that I do at the start of every month include some favorites, if I love any of these, I'll be sure to include them in there so you can see how I've got on with them. But this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flow, Flow, Flawless? Flawless Filter. Now, I tried in store, I swatched a 2 and a 2.5, and I would have gone for the 2.5, but she says they don't sell that colour in store. It's like a beautiful, as you can imagine, a filter for your skin so it's got a real glisten a real sheen to it a bit of coverage but it's very minimal it's more like a moisturizer with a bit of extra something in it so if you want to go for a no makeup day which i often do and just use this amazing if not great as a primer to underneath your foundation so it picks up another foundation this is the lancome tant idol tant idol I picked up a different colour this time. I usually wear 045 and that's just a little bit too dark. 048, believe it or not, even though it's a bigger number, is just a slightly better um, tone for my skin. So I picked that up and then I also got a good old classic. I haven't used this in so long and it's honestly a favourite of mine and it's the Lancome Hypnose Mascara. Oops, dropped it. 
it's so good it's actually just going to go straight in my makeup bag because the one that i'm currently using is just starting to dry out a little bit and then i did go into boots i know i'm working with tangle teaser but i did actually buy these two things myself i wanted to try the ultimate finisher brush that they do so i picked that up i also got the pet teaser which is just adorable there's even a little i'm assuming a golden on the front so for barney it's the de shedding and dog grooming brush they have different types they've got a puppy one they've got one with um for dogs that are smaller breeds or that get hair that gets matted quite easily like cac cacapoos <laughs> cacapoos or cockapoos that was the combination of the two um for heavy shedding and long haired dogs however this is the one for Barney. And then I also got this, which is a hair curling ribbon, which I've seen people use for heatless curls, if you can see there. I used my dressing gown robe and it did work. It just didn't hold the curls for very long. So I'm going to try it out properly with one that is designed to be used for heatless waves. And I'll maybe again try that out in a vlog, maybe let you guys know what I'm thinking. I've got some trusty faves some batiste dry shampoo however we've got some new ones this is a collab that they've done with skinny dip in naughty and haunting and enchanting amber they had the nice version but i preferred the sound of that smell and then another of the uh, dry shampoo purchases that i made again a new one that i've never seen before this intrigued me this is the overnight deep cleanse dry shampoo so the idea being that you uh put it on before bed and wake up to magic that's what the can claims so we'll see how we get on with that carmex i just use this every single day i don't know if i'm going to regret purchasing the strawberry flavored one or if i'm going to prefer the good old classic um lem sip myself and tom we've had the snuffles not too much else to say about that i actually feel all right now but i just feel like um it's always good to have some in just in case i got some advanced nail polish remover i mentioned on the vlog that i'm gonna look to start maybe doing my own gel nails because i'm very basic when it comes to my nails and i always find whenever i go into a salon there's always a selection of colors but if there's not a selection of 50 different nudes, then I'm disappointed because I only ever just wear nudes. So if there's like one decent nude, then I'm like, when I say nude as in like, like a pinky brownie kind of nude for me, then yeah, I end up being disappointed. So I might just purchase a few myself and just give it a try. I also, unpopular opinion here, hate going to the nail salon. It it's like a fear of mine i you know when they file if they use electric files and they go near the cuticles if they cut the cute i can't stand having my nails done anyone else please tell me i'm not alone i feel like that is a very unpopular opinion because a lot of people go to the salon to relax unwind pamper i hate every second of it until they're putting the polish on then i can relax but anyway this is the advanced nail polish remover with the acetone just to soak them off and then um I also got this cuticle remover again just to do a little diy try it myself you pop it on your cuticles it softens them so that when you push them back it's yeah it's kind of breaks them off in a healthier kind of way i also got some toothpaste i got oh i got this because i've been getting into running lately and um i mean i'm not obsessed with it or anything but i've been a few times with barney and i have really enjoyed it he's a good little running buddy so this um i did have one but it didn't fit like everything in because i obviously now need poo bags i need to put his lead or i just carry his lead my keys my phone and everything treats if needs be so i bought this this was eight pound fifty from boots i think you can definitely get one cheaper but it was just in the moment i saw it then in there and i was like i need one i'm just gonna buy it i did also get this cuticle cutter again for doing my nails then I saw um, oh, I got another um, go-to of mine, the Lasting Perfection Concealer. I got a new shade, a three. In my collection right now, I've got a two and a four, and I just feel like a three would have been perfect, so picked that up. And then these were in the clearance from Vita Liberata, amazing tanning brand. This is only £7.50. Yeah, these retail for a lot more than £7.50, and this is a self-tanning skin tone optimising CC cream. So I feel like in, in a similar way to the flawless filter will be, um, that you can kind of pop this on before makeup, and it also, this one has the tan inbuilt, so it's like a gradual tanner for your skin. So 
yeah i'm gonna see how i get on with that what should i show you next i think yeah i only got two things from tk maxx so i'll just show you these i got a photo frame which i loved the color of this one it's like a black metal frame and then it's got a real creamy kind of um border in there the plus part two so yeah 6.99 that was just a random checkout you know as you're queuing they've got a few items and i saw it and i was like well i do really like that actually and then i got a yankee candle oh that is lovely this is a warm cashmere i've never had warm cashmere before and it smells so nice I honestly, there was only one of them. I saw the colour of it and I was like, oh, let me see what that smells like. It's lovely. And it is only £14.99. So the RRP of these are 28 You can get them in B&M for £15, but I've never seen this one in there. So when I saw that at £14.99, grabbed it. So that is everything that I got in TK Maxx. Didn't see any like reduced Easter bits or anything yet. So um, there's no point buying easter stuff that isn't reduced i feel like this late on um there was one thing actually that i got from the range which was in the sale from i think it was from 5.99 down to 2.99 and it's this little set of two rabbit candle holders um they had loads of them out i don't all of their easter stuff was full price so no idea why these were reduced maybe they just have loads of them but i just loved them they're just plain white which is what i love i think on a tablescape with some candles burning for an easter dinner how nice are they oh 2.99 them so yeah the fact that they were reduced i was like yeah they're coming home with me speaking of easter bits when I was in Aldi um, and I got those mochis as well and did a food shop, I also got these for Easter. These ones are definitely more for me. I've got some more Easter chocolate for Tom already, but these are, um, well, I suppose we can share this one. This is a milk chocolate bunny. It's These things are solid. They do them at Christmas, like the Santa ones, and honestly, they're so good. But then this is a Easter egg that screams me. It's the blonde chocolate um and also the oh lemon and blueberry crunch and then i got these for barney just some little toys these were reduced as well and they reminded me of the jewels color i've just picked up a neptune bag and this is like their signature new color so i feel like it's a very in color especially for spring uh, but yeah both of these together just reminded me of jewels anyone else think that with those colors i actually got loads of home bargains but to the point where i could even do a full haul but i think i'm just gonna show you in this video but before i do Danelle, i'm realizing how much stuff i've got to show you in this video i've still got um some sainsbury's bits done elm and the home bargains bits so you know what if you haven't got any coffee left to go grab another so Danelle had these new in for summer their new kind of summer outdoor collection this beautiful salad bowl in this kind of ribbed acrylic um they did have a jug and they also had tumblers and wine glasses in this same material but i thought i'd just pick up the salad um bowl and then the salad servers as well the salad servers were only one pound and then the bowl was two pound fifty this was reduced this was in the sale for 17 pound 50 from 25 pounds it's a muslin throw so it's a gorgeous kind of like super soft muslin fabric cotton fabric that i thought would look lovely on this bedding add a bit of a different texture you know to the bedding just to layer things up maybe even put like a linen blanket with that got some new tea towels eight pound for this pack of five love all those colors and then i also got some other cleaning bits this one at one pound fifty and then also this brush at three pounds now this one was pricier this was nine pound fifty it's a lot but it comes with two cloths and this one is a glass cleaner cloth which these ones you really can't beat for cleaning mirrors glass it just helps so that there's no lint or anything attached to it it's like the minky green ones and then i've got another one of these cleaning mitts thought i'll pop this one upstairs into tom's bathroom this one was £2.50 and then last but not least from Dunelm I didn't realise that you can get ref refuser diffuser reeds the refill ones but not in black or natural it's in a kind of ashy almost like wicker colour and texture and then from Sainsbury's I got a couple of stationery bits actually I saw these planners that they had in and notebooks in this gorgeous like I said green's the colour 
um even our walls this is lick beige one and even that's got a green undertone to it but yeah that notebook from the habitat at um sainsbury's i thought would go really nice with this weekly planner i am going to see if tom wants this because this is kind of color theme in his room but failing that i'm going to keep it and if he does want this then i might buy myself a um another one especially this weekly planner i feel like that's gonna be so handy and i also got this storage box which was again in the stationary section it's just linen plain linen box with that kind of dark green on the inside as well it's definitely a new range that they've got with gold hardware as well a little label thing on the front i thought that was lovely i think it was kind of pricey i think it was like 10 pounds or something but for a linen box it is lovely just stocked up on some pens this three pack of fine liners and then i also got this from the kind of summer barbecue kitchen outdoor kitchen garden thing barbecue bamboo skewers <laughs> i don't mind that was such a long explanation for them then these little cute guys are so adorable these were reduced actually again with it being easter and easter kind of over these little salt and pepper shakers and these white bunnies. They did actually have a full range of, there was a little bunny holding up a cake stand. There was bunny jugs and bowls and stuff. None of them were reduced. It was just these guys, salt and pepper shakers. So these I think were six pounds. Then last but not least, my home bargains bits that I have to share. Firstly, these wicker baskets. I've got one of these already in my filming room which I love and quite a few of you were asking where I got it from. It's from Home Bargains, $7.99. They're mega affordable, it's $7.99. They are log baskets, but I've got um, just like, you know, cushions and throws type thing in here. So I'm actually gonna pop this in this bedroom as well. I feel like it adds a nice soft touch to the home. Might even put it downstairs in the living room yet, undecided, because I have down the side of the sofa a load of spare blankets but they're just kind of like piled up so instead they might be better in a basket on display to give kind of cozy cozy feelings and then also they have this one it's the same price it is a lot smaller but it does have the thicker kind of kubu wicker finish i prefer this finish and it's also got the line lining so if you did want to pop a plant in there or use it as a bin or something, then it's protected. So yeah, got that, $7.99 as well. Then I got these cards, I've got a new range of gift cards, and I thought these ones looked lovely. So it just says happy birthday on both of them, white and gold, and then gray and gold, 69p each. 69p. I'm gonna have to switch out the battery because it's flashing. One second, we're back on. I felt myself speeding up as I was talking because I could see that that battery was flashing. It was like telling me, hurry up, quick. It was like panic, panic station. So anyway, fresh new battery, so we're all good. So um, yeah, those wicker baskets. I also got a new bin. Our one is trash. The lid is completely broken, keeps falling off. It keeps annoying me. So I just picked up another one. It's just one of these swing bin, hold on, swing bins just like so i mean we'll probably go for integrated when we actually build our new kitchen but for now it does the job and we could even use that again afterwards maybe like in the pantry or something i got the new sicilian citrus limited edition spray wipe done flash spray lemon scents i love around the house so i got that and then i also got another one in here somewhere so i wanted to try it it's again a new scent it's the alpine fresh now tom was after a spray for his bathroom so i'm going to give this to him in his shower the water leaves quite a lot of marks we must have quite hard water so it leaves a lot of marks on his shower glass because i don't have one i don't really see that i'm actually quite glad i don't have one. Oh, i've got some bits in here from um i remember now i went into pound stretcher they had an offer on which was um 50 off your entire basket so i just stocked up on loads of random bits they're just in this bag as well but i got some of the jumbone dog treats and then also he loves these nylon bones that this one in particular i bought other ones and he's just ignored it but this one i think it's this grip here that he likes to chew on i don't know but it's the vanilla flavor I've also got a microfiber pet towel these are all pennies do you know what i mean because of the discount now i did get this brush 
Now, I know I bought the other one from Donnell, but I thought one would look quite nice, the Donnell one, in the kitchen as a dish scrubber, dish brush. But this one I thought actually would look quite nice set out on some kind of, well in fact I've got a wooden dish in my bathroom. I might pop like a cloth over it, a soap, like a bar of soap and that on top. Styled, I think it looks lovely and then obviously if you do want to use the soap you just scrub it like with the brush to get the suds going. That was about a pound as well as was this which again I like the texture of. It's like a hemp natural kind of washing mitt and then i also got this they had these draw drawers straws glass straws in these little linen pouches and these are all pound stretcher so yeah if you've got a pound stretcher near you 50 percent off your entire basket i think it was a minimum spend of five pounds but i spent that um yeah glass straws i've already got some glass straws but mine are quite tall this is going to be a good size for in like a smaller glass if i just have a smaller drink did you see my cleaning under the sink organizing video you may have spotted a couple of these already so i've got another backup of that and then i also got a lighter and some masks because we are going to milan soon and i feel like traveling in particular masks are going to be an essential and then i also got this at 19.99 one of these fans i just feel like when it gets particularly hot i'm preparing in advance with this one and you know we've got a dog i want to keep him cool as well so in the front room for like day to day and then maybe even at night if it gets particularly hot as well so that is everything that i picked up so do you know what i'm actually quite disappointed i didn't get any clothes there was just nothing that i saw and liked and picked up so yeah maybe we should do when h&m open back up again which i think by the time you're watching this video i think they might have opened so because i do think they're due to open very very soon so if they have maybe we can go back and do like a zara h&m pull and bear bershka stradivarius they've got some amazing fashion shop so maybe we should do like a spring try on spring summer try on trip to the Trafford center so yeah let me know if that's something you want to do you want to come back shopping with me to the Trafford center i feel like i'm just walking out of this room leaving a mess that i need to clean up to walk into this room which is a mess which i need to clean up i've just been filming um uh, another video as well so yeah i'm gonna try and not show you what's in the background to to not ruin it but i just wanted to sign off today's video say thank you to you guys for watching and of course thank you to tangle teaser for very kindly working with me on today's video i really 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 recommend that you try out that scalp exfoliator and massager it is so worth trying out it is now an absolute staple within my hair care routine i know you guys are going to love it just as much as i have and uh yeah thanks to them thanks to you guys for watching subscribe for more thumbs up if you like this video and i will hope to see you all very very soon in my next one bye guys